Happy Holy Week, everyone. And thank you so much for praying for Calvary West Littleton. Um, this is a big week. This is a big week for all Christians as we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And I'm standing in a spot where I will be preaching on Sunday. We've got this amphitheater behind us and we've rented it out. Um, and this park is in the in the heart of the community where we live, in the heart of West Littleton. And uh, we're, we're joining together in service with a few other of our sister churches that are part of the same network. Um, and we're excited to worship Jesus on Sunday. And we're going to have a lot of non-Christians here. And uh, so we're just asking that you pray specifically for them and that the gospel would be preached faithfully. And that it would go out in the power of the Spirit and the people will come to faith in Jesus Christ. And if you want to be praying through a passage, um, pray through the passage that I'll be preaching on. It's Philippians chapter 3, verses 7 through 11. And it's all about how Jesus is better. Knowing him surpasses everything that this world has to offer. In fact, anything that this world has to offer in comparison to Jesus is like rubbish, the Apostle Paul says. He's better because he gives us a righteousness by faith that gives us salvation. And he's better because he gives us power through his resurrection so that one day we might be resurrected. And just pray those themes over the people who will be hearing this message. Pray for um, non-Christians who will be coming, people who don't trust in Jesus. Um, pray for people who think that they're believers but don't actually understand the gospel. Um, that's a lot of people in our community. Um, and pray for the believers here that they would also be empowered to preach the gospel moving forward uh, with the resurrection power that the Apostle Paul talks about in Philippians chapter 3. So again, thank you all so much for praying for our church. Uh, this is such an exciting time for a church, and we're just hopeful that we will see people's lives changed for Jesus uh, this Easter Sunday. And I hope that you'll be a part of that through your prayers. Thank you.